This morning, Governor Terry McAuliffe held a meeting about restoring voting rights to felons. Attorney General Mark Herring and the ACLU of Virginia are both backing his executive order. It gives back voting privileges to more than 200,000 felons across the state. Ten on your side's Aaron Kelly joins us now live. He talked to him about the move. Aaron? Yeah, we're in Huntersville outside the Neighborhood Service Center, and the governor says he's going to be holding these roundtables throughout Virginia. Now, back in April, on a day that he calls his proudest as governor, McAuliffe issued an executive order that restored rights to more than 200,000 felons. Those people had to meet requirements like completing supervised probation or parole to get back the right to vote, run for office, and serve on a jury. Now, McAuliffe says the average person to have the rights restored is a 46-year-old white male. He says the move was the right thing to do. What really touched me was I'd have a lot of fathers come up to me and say on election days they'd actually go to voting booths, not allowed to vote, but hoping that one of those I voted stickers had fallen on the ground so they could pick it up, go back home, put it on and show their children and say they voted because they were embarrassed. Now, a conservative group and a group of Republican lawmakers have filed suits saying that they think that the governor overstepped here, that he doesn't have the authority to do this. The governor says he does believe he does have that authority. Coming up at 4, you're going to hear from some of the people who did have their rights restored. Live in Norfolk, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.